In this example, we're given the step response, S of t, of a system. So we know that if a unit step is applied at t equals 0 to the input of our system, the output will look something like this. And the question is, from this, can we find the impulse response? So what would be the response if the input was an impulse? So to find that, remember that the impulse response is the gradient of the step response. So if this is S of t, what we're looking for is the gradient of this. So just looking at it, the gradient is positive and seems to decrease until it becomes zero. So it can't be this because this is going up and then becoming constant at one, so it can't be that. It can't be this because, again, this is a unit step function. It's constant at one. It sharply rises, and then it's constant at one. Whereas here, we have the gradient, which is positive, less positive, less positive, until it approaches zero. So here we have a gradient which is 1 at the beginning, and then it decreases, decreases, decreases until it approaches zero. So it looks like this is going to be our impulse response. And if we look at the last option, here it's zero until suddenly at t equals 1, starts increasing linearly. Here, nothing special happens at t equals 1, and it certainly doesn't increase. So we're looking for something that's monotonically decreasing, and this looks like the answer. Now, if the, answer, if the question had asked for the opposite, if it had given us the impulse response and had asked for the step response, we would be looking at the opposite. We'd be looking at the integral. So we'd be looking for the area under, under the curve. So just like these two form a, um, a pair where one is the derivative of the other, this is the integral of this. Just look at it. As you take the area, as you go from 0 onwards, the area increases but the rate of increase decreases. So that's increasing, and then it becomes constant at 1. That's the total area. So this question can be asked either way. We can start with the step response and ask for h of t, or we can start with h of t and ask for s of t. So in this case, the option is the, um, the third one. The correct option is this third one here.